New tonight, a natural resource conservation effort, eight years coming, culminated today along the Weber River. KSL cameras were there as wildlife biologists released a thousand native fish back into the waterway. New specialist Ashley Moser has the story. Years of meticulous planning and tracking have led to today. We are stocking bluehead suckers throughout the Weber River. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources plans to release a thousand of them along the river from Ogden to Echo Reservoir. There has been some declines in their population here in the Weber River. Shante Lunscott with the DWR says after about two decades of monitoring the local species, in 2015 the agency hatched a plan to raise the fish from eggs and re-release them. This is like the first of its kind. So by the net and bucket, these blue suckers were transported from a hatchery in Logan to the Weber River on Wednesday with the hope that they'll have a positive impact on our water. Well, first of all, they're native fish, and so they have a place in this river system. They essentially recycle matter uh, that can't be utilized back into the system, and they just help increase the water quality. The fish today are about four to five years old, and the DWR expects them to spread quickly. It will almost two times or triple what the population is in the corridor right now. The agency is working on hatching more bluehead suckers to do this again in the future with the goal of preserving the important fish species for years to come. It's like the first of something bigger to come. It's just very fulfilling doing a job like this and knowing that we're giving back in the best ways that we possibly can. Each fish has a similar tag in it, similar to those in cats and dogs, so the agency could just scan them in the future and know the exact day and location that they were released into the river. In the newsroom, Ashley Moser, KSL 5 News.